Have you heard about it? The mega flash that has set the record for the longest for the United States. Let's talk about this thing. The World Meteorological Organization was able to verify that a flash, a single flash, extended from East Texas all the way up to east of Kansas City, Missouri. That's a distance of 515 miles. It occurred October 22nd of 2017, and researchers went back and recently discovered this looking at images from the GOES-16 and GOES-17 satellites. This beat the old record, which was actually set in April of 2020. That one spanned 477 miles from parts of Texas back across Louisiana and into southern Mississippi. That's an incredibly long flash, the new mega flash even longer. So let's talk about the differences between a common flash and a mega flash. Common flashes are typically two to three miles in length, sometimes up to 10 or 15 miles. You see a mega flash, it needs to be at least 60 miles or 100 kilometers in length. Now, a common flash is produced by a typical thunderstorm, and you get these convective cells. Sometimes they last half an hour, maybe an hour or so, and they tend to die out. Other ones kind of pop up. Mega flashes are more typically produced by MCSs. Those are mesoscale convective systems, which can last 14 hours, sometimes longer than that, then they're capable more typically of producing a mega flash. Now, a common flash occurs in every thunderstorm. That's how they become thunderstorms. They produce lightning and thunder. Well, only, well, not even 1% of thunderstorms produce mega flashes, so they are a very rare thing. Did you know that there are 8.6 million lightning strikes around the Earth each day? That equates to about 100 strikes each second. Fortunately, they're not all mega flashes.